First of all, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of that officer. Kevin Lawrence is the executive director of the Texas Municipal Police Association. He says what we see in the video is proof this officer had the proper training and the courage to do what needed to be done. The multitasking is part of the training. You have to be ready to do all of that stuff, and, and you have to be properly trained, properly equipped, and properly motivated you 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 have to understand before you have to have already made up your mind before it happens that you're willing to take on that risk willing to take on that that obligation lawrence agrees with the failed police response in the uvalde shooting still so fresh on the minds of many it's hard not to compare the two in one case dozens of officers who didn't move in and allen one lone officer who did what we see on the video, is that a testament to one man's bravery or to one man's training, or is it both? That officer is an example of somebody who's been properly trained, properly prepared, properly equipped for that situation. And that is not the case universally. Based on the video that you just saw, the entire response from the first shot fired to the gunman being killed. That's about five minutes, so that gives you an idea of just how quickly that officer was able to react and ultimately take that threat out, Doug. It is extraordinary to watch yeah. it in what was real time that day. So it's been more than a month and a half. I was talking about over 50 days since the shooting, obviously. Any indication why the video was released today and perhaps not any earlier than today? Well, we had to wait today. Uh, the case uh, was before uh, the grand jury until we got word uh, just yesterday in fact, that the officer's actions were justified. The Allen Police Department says after that decision was announced, they decided to release that portion of the video. That's why we got it today. Allen uh, Police telling us uh, today that the case did go to the grand jury for an independent review and to ensure accountability as well as transparency. What more do we know, if anything, about the officer himself? Uh, status? Is he back to work? Do we know anything? We, you know, we, we tried. You know, obviously, we want to know more about this hero officer. Uh, but Allen PD, they tell us that the officer uh, has specifically asked that his name not be publicized by them. So as far as we can tell, uh, the department is honoring that wish uh, at the moment. Uh, we did speak with his lawyer, though, in the days that followed the tragedy, who said the officer was eager uh, to return to work. But again, uh, Allen PD, they're not confirming any of that, Doug, uh, trying to just kind of keep uh, you know all of that under wraps for now. And if those are his wishes, then we shall honor them. Yeah. Uh, Ken, thank you so much.